people don't understand where the glass is handmade or whether it's new process. It's the price. Well, of course, it costs more to make an handmade glass than it does a new process glass. But some of the types of glass which we can beat the foreign and our handmade type of glass, we can beat them on that. On some types, well, we'll stick to the tradition. In my opinion, we try to copy the foreign and, and let our own craft, the best part of our craft, slide away. You see, by trying to copy him. Because we only remember what we've seen 20 to 30 years ago, what we've seen made, and have been taught to make, we can follow on that tradition. But if we don't see it made, I mean, these young people don't see that finer work being produced, then they won't be able to follow it on. Whatever it is, it's a gift, the same as everybody else's job is. Anybody, no matter who they are in a trade, what's good in a trade, it's a gift. I mean, you could be in a trade all your life and learn. Never been no good at nothing. You always learn as you get older, you keep picking things up. I was always studying glass, you know. No matter where I went, first thing I did, looked at glass, see what I could find. Glass man. Good morning, Joe. Morning, sir. Um, we've got an order in this morning for some of these air twist goblets again. Well, that's a bit of a nuisance. That chair's been disbanded now. Well, I do appreciate that, but uh, we must do it. How are you going to do it? Well, mean take uh, taking Evans off his chair, Shady West off his chair, and making a chair up to make them at the normal working hours. Well, I know it's inconvenient, but uh, we've got to look after the customer. Well, we better make the chair this afternoon, Friday afternoon. All right. Get them made down. When shall I promise delivery? Next week. As official of the union, I am factory secretary or shop steward at the firm, and uh, I have to negotiate the conditions, different things with the firm. We we don't have much trouble usually, and Mr. Fletcher, I've known him ever since I was a boy. We used to start just before six. We worked till half past one. But we have bagging break, that's meal break, at uh, half past nine. When the boys have had their breakfast, that's when they start to frigger. Uh, if there's a spare chair and some tools, well, they're in the pot and got the metal out. And that's learning outside your job. Y if you're a blower, you want to learn to serve. If you're a servitor, you want to be a workman. Well, you'll learn to make outside your own production times. That's in the in the bagging rate. We've gone on for years and years. We've all done the same, you see. I agree with Friggin, providing the lads them doing something that's going to do them good. I mean, because it can learn a lot. Not that bad. I mean, you learn to get the, the feel of the touch of the glass, which is very important.
how it goes on, work and play. Uh, when we used to work uh, six hours on and six hours off in the old days, we were finished work on a Saturday morning at uh, half past six, and we were finished till Tuesday morning. It would be Saturday, Sunday and Monday off. Well, now it's much better. We, uh, we just worked the one shift and we finished it off past one. And uh, we've got the afternoons off to, to get away from it, all you see. So I thought to myself, what's that? When I come out the back place, he's a crawling through the window. I said, hey, when you have to... He's a couple of matches. I said, that's how to come to you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, come through the window after a couple of matches. Now tell him what you said in court, Bill. I says, uh, this the fellow? I said, yes, that's a gentleman. I said, but I didn't call him a gentleman the time I kept him in our house. I called him... <laughs> I called him a good many names. <laughs> <laughs> you can go into a, into any place around here and you'll find there aren't many people who haven't actually worked in the glass trade if it's only for a week you'll get some people 45 up to 50 35s up to 40. Pick them at random anyway, then. Eh?